So it's been interesting to see this Republican civil war and see uh, what side various people are falling on. So, of course, you had the Matt Gates faction and the Kevin McCarthy faction. And to be fair, the Kevin McCarthy faction was like 97% of House Republicans. And Gates only had like a gaggle of eight idiots with him to do his thing. But we just covered the other day Bill O'Reilly versus Eric Bowling. They were on different sides of this Republican civil war. O'Reilly was much more sympathetic to McCarthy. Bowling was much more sympathetic to Gates. But anyway, so here's another example of this. I love this clip. This is awesome. So Stuart Varney, you guys know, hyper-capitalist, right-wing guy, Republican uh, Party uh, fluffer, you, the, whole, the whole nine yards. Well, he has on Chip Roy, and um, they're going to actually get into it here over a government shutdown because we had a continuing resolution to avert a government shutdown, but it was only for 45 days. And it was like a last-ditch effort, and basically what happened was it was keep spending levels the same, except strip out the Ukraine funding and we'll vote for this and it'll get through. It did. But now you gotta, you're got you right back to square one in the original spot after 45 days. And so you need to come up with a budget. Well, Stuart Varney is going to press a rather extreme Republican here and say, well, what's your plan? Like, what are you trying to do? We got to fund the government. What's going to happen? This is really interesting. Watch this. So we'll see what happens between now and November 17th. But Speaker Johnson... A lot of work to do to get appropriations bills done over the next two and a half weeks and to set the table for an actual debate in front of the American people about making sure we take our country back and stop spending money that's driving up inflation, killing our economy, funding all manners of, of world engagements, and continuing to leave our border wide open for exploitation by terrorists and all, all manners of dangerous individuals that can harm us. Well, reading between the lines, it sounds like you are a holdout again and that uh, you are quite prepared to shut the government down. You are, aren't you? Yes, well, you are. Uh, let me just say, you well, let me say, Stuart, Stuart, the question here is, do you believe that we should continue to fund a United Nations that literally just stood with Hamas? Should we continue to fund a wide open border that is- Oh my God, that's such bullshit. The United Nations did the most tepid, like, hey, Israel, please don't kill innocent civilians. And then they voted overwhelmingly for a ceasefire, but it was vetoed by the UN and Israel in the General Assembly. He, he describes that as they're standing with Hamas. Unbelievable liar. Endangering my constituents, where people are dying from fentanyl, should we continue to fund the World Health Organization and all of these leftist organizations and rags that have been undermining our ability to have healthcare freedom around the world? These are questions that we should be answering <laughs> and continuing well, a continuing resolution of a bloated $1.7 trillion spending bill that's driving- So he thinks he's freaking it right now, Chip Roy does. Look at Varney's face. He is not buying this at all. The inflation that you report on every single day dealing with the market conditions and the problems in our economy because our government irresponsibly spends money? No, I'm not going to blindly si saddle up and say, sure, let me write another blank check for all of America to wonder what their leaders in Washington are doing. But I do remember, was it three, four weeks ago, the, yep. the House Republicans rejected a deal that Speaker yep. McCarthy had worked out because he said it wasn't good enough. And we had three weeks where we didn't have a speaker and the Republican Party was embarrassed up and down the wazoo throughout the entire country. That's what we had four weeks ago. Are we going to do well, the same remember, again? Well, remember, Stuart, well, remember, Stuart, that I was a part of putting forward a proposal that would have reduced spending, secured our border, and kept the government going. Yeah, and you couldn't I have the votes. Always... And it didn't get through, you absolute jack weasel. God, it's so what he's talking about is Matt Gates proposed his own bill, and they had a vote on it, and it didn't even get through the House, never mind the Senate, where it was DOA, never mind getting Joe Biden to sign it. He would have vetoed it in a second. And what was that Matt Gates bill? Look at the specifics. We covered the specifics for you on this show. I'm sure many of you remember the segment. What did Matt Gates want? He wanted between a 50% cut and a 70% cut of programs like home heating assistance and Meals on Wheels and WIC program, which is baby formula for babies from poor families. They wanted to cut, it was like hundreds of thousands of teachers, the Department of Education, like all these things. So he's bragging, hey, I, pe I, I was for a, something to fund the government. I don't even know what you're talking about. I was for something to fund the government. What are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, it didn't get through. You need a deal that's actually going to work. And this guy, look, he's just a purity tester. He's a virtue signaler. Nothing is right-wing enough. And Stuart Varney's like, hey, jackass, I'm also a hardcore conservative, but you need to do a bill that could get through. And yeah, okay, instead of getting a 70% cut in various programs... Maybe you can get Biden and the Democrats to agree to a 1% cut or a 2% cut, which is better than keeping spending levels the same in a default continuing resolution. And this guy is too stupid to understand that concept. He didn't have the votes. But, well, uh, under Stewart, that's true. <laughs> so guess what? Point? Now we have a, now we have what a speaker. What is the point? If you know you, well, don't, you, have the, you, know you don't have the Stewart. votes. So you shut down Stewart, the government and we're embarrassed all over again. Look, the reason why Stewart is so annoyed is because he knows if they don't work out a deal and the government shuts down, Every single government shutdown 
has been blamed on the Republicans by the, by the public. Why? Because it is their fault. Because they are the ones who are okay with shutting down the government. And it hammers them in the polls. Stuart Varney knows this because he's a conservative Republican. And his whole point is, bro, you're not going to out-purity test me. You're not going to out-virtue signal me. We agree on the priorities. The question is, what can you get through right now, you absolute child? What do you want to do? Sign up for the endless spending plan for our Democratic colleagues that's destroying our country? If that's what you want, then just bring Democrats on your show <laughs> to continue to vomit out all of the ridiculous... And this is what he has to rely on. So, Stuart Varney runs circles around him in the debate, telling him he doesn't understand how politics works, and he relies on, well, I guess you're just, you're just progressive then. Guess you're just a Democrat then. This is what, so you just smear them when you have no logical response. And in that world, it is a smear, right? Just to be clear. Obviously, I actually support what Matt Gates is doing and what people like Chip Roy are doing. Well, I guess it destroys the Republican Party from within. So by all means, guys, go right ahead. But don't be under any illusions that you're like, you're the saviors of the Republican Party. No, you're idiots who have no idea how to govern. programs And my Republican colleagues who absolutely refuse to do their job and do what they said they would do. Awesome. Look, what's so amazing to me is these people are just as stupid as you thought they were. When even Stuart Varney is a thousand times more intelligent than you and understands how governing works a thousand times more, man, oh, your IQ is so goddamn low. Oh, it's the lowest IQ I've ever seen. Jesus Christ, man. But anyway, hey, pff, by all means, Matt Gates, go right ahead. I love it. Rip them apart from within, you know... <laughs> May, uh, try to like out virtue signal all your all the other Republicans. I'm more pure than you. No, I'm more pure. No, I'll shut the government down. No, I want a ninety percent cut for for meals for children. Knock yourself out, son. Go right ahead. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.